I told the kids Sunday night, hey guys, great job. I've never been more proud of the defense, you know, that I've ever been around. I love the way we played. And now what are we going to do? Is that good enough? Or are we going to move on? And, you know, that's our goal. We have to move on, put that one to bed, and, and let's go and get ready for Oakie State. And all the people are telling you how great you were the last 48 hours were saying those two weeks ago, saying you, you stink. So, you know, move on and keep playing. And don't, don't get too high and don't get too low. Let's just keep getting better. No, it's on Garmin right now. Uh, you know, and that's kind of what I'm planning on seeing is him. If for some reason Walsh plays, I mean, he's coming off a broken leg or foot or ankle, whatever it was that he hurt. And, uh, you know, I, their offense isn't going to change much. I mean, they, they do kind of the same stuff with Garmin. They don't run Garmin as much. And I don't know if that's because they don't like the way he runs or don't want to use him to get another guy hurt. So, you know, we're just, we have to really focus in on their tailbacks, their wideouts, you know, the things that they're going to do to us. So, you know, they have two really good tailbacks that can hurt you. Look at that offense. Uh, they scored nine against TCU. They scored 31 on Florida State, 45 on Texas State, 37 on Iowa State. It's not like they're not capable of putting a lot of points in there. No, nah, they, they're in the Big 12, so you know, every offense in this league seems like averaging about 40 points a game. Uh, you know, they've got weapons all over the place. I mean, they got the fastest kid in college football. The kid can hurt you in a lot of different ways, and they're using him. You know, they put him a wide out, they put him a tailback, so. You know, that you throw that kid on, he's gonna grab anybody's attention. So, you know, he's he's very fast and very effective on how they use him and they get him the ball by different ways. The adjustment is that I guess most of the kids that come in here have limited experience with the three three five. What kind of an adjustment is it? As, uh, I mean, it's football, you know, that's, that's what we get paid to do is coach the scheme. And, you know, I think the kids are bought in and they're excited about it and they like being in it. And any time that that happens, I mean, they're going to listen, they're going to, you know, they're going to take the coaching. And, and our coach has done a great job of getting everybody to understand this game. So, you know, I'm happy with where we're at as a defense. I think the kids are bought in and, you know, they're, they're dialed in right now. Before back to you, Mr. when did you start? Uh, 2002 here when we put it in, uh, we were, myself and Jeff, uh, you know, we were, we were on the staff together when we went down and started uh, talking with Wake Forest staff about a Dean Hood and, you know, kind of was here on the, was on the ground floor with it. Tell me, why did you guys do that then? Why, what was the reason then? And that was in the Big East where they were playing against the kind of football with Nets. Why, why was it right to put it back in? You know, really, the, the biggest thing is it's hard to find four defensive linemen. Uh, you know, so, and it's the same thing that everybody in the country, you know, everybody wants big guys that can run fast and, and all that, and they're just hard to come by. So, you know, it's easier to recruit guys, spur bandit type guys, safety type guys, corners. Than it is to try to go get, uh, you know, 320 pounders. But, uh, so that that was kind of part of it. And then, you know, you just get more athletes on the field, guys that can run and see the football. And, and that's that's kind of that was our whole philosophy when we started. What has evolved from 2002 to what you got now, 12 years later? Is yeah, it different or is it the same? Or you know, it, it's about the same. I mean, you can only do so much stuff out of it. You know, uh, and people have taken it to different levels, and people try to run it just on third down, and we bought in, and we're doing it every down. And and I think that's how you get good at it. And I think people have tried to use it just in third down or just against spread teams. How good can you really get at it? And what was it that, uh, I mean, when you guys got together, you know, uh, you rich, uh, yeah, you know, what, however many were involved in the decision. How did that conversation go as to, you know, I mean, obviously the year before you guys were, you know, just awful. Yeah, well, <laughs> thanks, Bob. I was part of that staff, too. <laughs> but, uh, no, the, uh, yeah, it wasn't, there wasn't a whole lot of discussion. Uh, he came in and told us, this is what I want you guys to do. And we were all four down guys, everybody on the staff. and. You know, Dean Hood coached me at col in college, and he was running the Wake Forest at the time. So it was uh, myself, Todd Graham, Jeff, and uh, Paul Randolph. That was our defensive staff at that time, and we jumped in the car and 
went to a Wake Forest and asked a bunch of questions and came back and about three days later we jumped back in the car and went back down and you know then we just went with it and you know it kind of evolved from there. Arizona State run that? They run a little bit of it, not much. I mean, they jump in and out of that. I haven't seen them play, so I can't really answer that question. I'm sure they have it in their package at some point. Coach, cool. there's a saying that you, know, you can find out how good a football player is by looking at his weaknesses. Is there many weaknesses in Nick Kwiatkowski's game right now? Uh, you know what? He's uh, he's hitting at a high level right now. I mean, he's he's played extremely well, and you know he's done it from game one you know, all the way up until game seven. I mean, he's he's playing really well right now. And, you know, the kid's not perfect by any means, but, you know, he, he plays hard. And, you know, he overcomes mistakes with his effort and then his ability to make stops and tackle people. I mean, he's just, he's been very solid right now. And, you know, I think he's the heartbeat of this defense, to be honest with you. Consistency is a big thing in, in, in sports. I mean, why has he been able to be so consistent? I mean, one week a guy can grab 18 tackles and then you don't even see him the next week, but he's there yeah. every week. I mean, Well, I think you do exactly what you pointed out consistency, and that's the way the kid is. It's the way he carries himself. I mean, he's never, you know, he, he's a perfect kid for it. He's never too high, he's never too low. He just goes about his business and he works. And, you know, he's a smart kid, he understands, he watches film. You know, and he's just, he's got everything. I mean, you know, I made a comment a couple weeks ago. You know, I mean, he's just, he's what you want. I mean, when you go and you have a model for this defense or for a linebacker, that's the kind of kid you want to be program. Coach, 